looking up and down and under and through. Once you've had a chance to look at things, go ahead then and come on and find a place on the floor. Hi, I'm Laura Bosomworth, and this is our rainforest here at Nielsen Elementary. I'm a fifth grade teacher, and my three science classes have been working to build the rainforest. We've taken approximately a week and a half to build the forest. All of the students made animals or plants to go in the forest, and they made an informational poster to go along with their animal. My name is Rashida Allen. My animal is a Bengal tiger. Um, a female Bengal tiger weighs from about 310 pounds to 400 pounds. The really cool thing about the rainforest that you can see, all of these things that the students made, they made by themselves. And a lot of the materials were really simple things like paper and tape and paint or socks, feathers, styrofoam. They really weren't, weren't all that complicated. Anything else besides animals? It does. That's why it's called a rainforest. Fifth graders, how much rain does a rainforest get? It can get up to what? Four hundred inches a year. All right. What else is, is in a rainforest? So it's a whole bunch of animals in rain. Over here. It's like, oh, it's okay. It's like a jungle. It is like a jungle. Do you know some people actually just call the rainforest a jungle? 